Okay, go. Welcome to a week in my life. <laughs> Happy Monday, you guys. My mom is here. So much has been happening. I literally, like, I'm still in my pajamas. I literally have been in my pajamas all day. People have been coming and going. My mom's been so helpful. She's about to leave in an hour. I was like, you should stay longer. <laughs> um, but no, she's leaving me in a really good position. I'm so happy. She just went and got us juices and came back with these beautiful yes. flowers, which is so sweet. Thank you so much. So I wanted to update you guys over here. My super finally came and did my rods, and they're so much better than I could have ever done. Um, just trying to decide if I want to patch the holes up now. He said he could help me do that or just wait till when I move out. Not really sure because I think the clothes are going to cover everything, but these things are not going to move. I'm really excited to start putting some clothes on them. Um, twice as organized in my last vlog, you guys would have seen they came here and organized everything. It's truly becoming like my Hannah Montana closet and I'm so forever grateful. This is going to be so nice. When I'm getting dressed, just to come in here and be like, what do I want to wear? I'm almost wondering if I should get like a little mini like dorm mirror that they sell at Target just to like have for quick. You can never have enough mirrors, okay? Um, well actually I'm gonna have my vanity here which will have a mirror so I'll be able to like kind of check it out. So my vanity comes tomorrow. My Ikea Alex drawers got here. I'm gonna put those right there. It's gonna be tight in here, but like it's not like it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. These are all the clothes they've like organized for me. Um, but I wanna try, I'm just gonna try and hang up some. She's gonna come in the morning. Zoe from Trice is organized. She was like, I want to come. I wanna see it all finished. So she's gonna help me hang these up in a specific order that she suggests. Um, but I'm gonna hang some up just to like, I just need to see some clothes on that rod, you know? And then I also got these things from Amazon that your sunglasses just hang. So I'm gonna hang those up, I think, also in here, like right here, and then if I get a mirror right there, we'll see. My artwork, my Gray Malin artwork is hung up. It looks so good. I'm seriously just so obsessed with the blue black backsplash. It kind of ties in. Oh my God, those look so pretty. And then here, this is the layout that I'm going with right now. I just like the table here. It's just been really helpful. As soon as I walk in, I put stuff there. We sat there, it's just kind of like a lot to walk all the way from the kitchen over there. And I just love the mirror there. I think I'm actually gonna keep this console. I'm talking to Sarah about it, but I initially bought a bigger console because this had a lot of wall, but now I'm gonna have this here. So I think this is good and then I can put my lanterns like right there. Updates in here. He hung up my lanterns today and then he's coming back tomorrow to hang up my curtain rod because I got blackout curtains because I've been waking up too early here with the, with the sun. Then that's gonna go above my bed like at my last apartment. And then yeah, go check out my last vlog to see like all the details of my organization. I need to put my suitcases up. I think I'm gonna be able to put them here, back there. I'll just take those things down and reorganize here and uh, put all my suitcases back there. I'm hoping because that's what I need to happen. And yeah, that's the little update. I have someone to come, uh, I have the NYC steamers coming today. They're gonna clean my headboard and then also use scotch guard to like um whatever like liquid like spill proof these and then also my couch <laughs> per popular request from all of you guys i am taking off the curtains and we're washing them and the we're gonna wash them yeah i'm gonna spray shout on the bottom shout works wonders hopefully it comes out my super said it should um, cause I mean, these are exactly what I would buy. So if I can watch, he said they become pure white once you wash them. So I'm going to try it now. I'm going to take these down too. Gosh, guys, it looks kind of cool in here without the curtains on, but we're gonna wash them and see how it goes. All right, mom's gone, so it's time to just put on a podcast. I have so many podcasts that I haven't listened to this weekend, so I'm so happy to start listening to them. We're gonna do laundry, we're gonna just unpack more, we're just gonna get stuff done. That's what we're doing today.
Okay, NYC steamers just left. They're literally the best. They're nyc.steamers on Instagram. My headboard is literally so much better now. Wow. I feel so much better having my head sleep there. I'm letting it dry for about two hours before I put my pillows back. And I have the, op the windows open right now to, to ventilate. But they also did the scotch guard on the couch and also on my stools. So I'm just letting those dry too. But today's been a very, very productive day. I am seriously so happy so grateful it's always like really weird oh my god look at this background adjusting to a new space and just like getting used to it i think what really helped obviously is my mom being here which was just so nice she just made it all cozy and like she just suggests things that i just wouldn't have thought of and it was just so nice to have an extra helping hand and also i think using most of my literally all my same furniture makes me feel like I'm at home because it's like the furniture I'm used to, you know? I think if I did like a completely new design and everything, that would have been a big adjustment. So pro tip for moving, which I'm sure a lot of you probably are just bringing your furniture, but try and make it feel homey with that as like a good transition. So I'm doing really well. My mom left and I felt really, really good about it. I was like, okay, you're leaving me in a good position. Um, and yeah, I have laundry going right now. That's There's like lots of sounds, but you guys, I feel disgusting. I literally woke up. I woke up like this and literally just like put on a bra or like sticky boobs because I was just like, I'm just going to be here all day. Why change? Why get something dirty? Um, the only thing I did was to run across the street to the ATM to um, go to get a tip because I wanted to tip them because they're so great. Um, and I just like put a jacket on over this because it's cold out now. It's been raining, but all good. Um, so yeah, I... I'm gonna take like a shower, the shower. I'm washing my hair, we're cleaning, like I need to wash these pajamas, they're starting to smell, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm just kinda here for the night. Ryan may come over later. I don't have any groceries and I would like to do like a proper grocery run. Maybe I could do that tonight, but also it's raining and I don't really wanna walk back with groceries in the rain. So we shall see. That's the update. Also guys, I literally died. So I used NYC steamers before they cleaned my couch one other time and I referred a ton of my friends and obviously I've posted about them before, but I think a lot of my friends ended up using them. And so he was like, this is a thank you for referring us and like helping us start our business here in the city. It's like this pearl necklace says Danielle. It was these two guys, seriously the most tender thing ever. Like, thank you guys so much from the brand the Alchemist. Very, very thoughtful. Before I take the shower, um, I want to try and install this shower head. It's a rain shower head. I, the shower is just not doing it for me. Um, it's like comes out really, really hard pressure. My last shower head was really, really nice. So I bought this one on Amazon. I'm going to update my Amazon storefront. By the time this vlog is up, I'll already have done it, which is always linked down below. All of my new purchases that I've got on Amazon and just stuff that I hadn't updated it yet will be there under different categories like home, kitchen, bathroom, or whatever I have done, I forget. Um, so yeah, I've done this before when I lived in Georgia. My shower, I, it was really, really easy. Um, and I'll just save this, obviously. because I'll save that shower head, obviously, because this is not my building. But yeah, let's hope and pray this works well. Like, I mean, it's gonna be fabulous. When I tell you happiness, can't even explain how I feel right now. I just took the shower, I did all the lotion after, brushed my hair, put in my leave-in conditioner, moisturized my face, like I shaved, you know, I just like feel good. I've got a sweat set on, I'm just, I hope you can feel that through the screen. I hope this inspires you guys to do the same because it really hit different. It also hits different when you've been like moving and like I just like felt dirty like the last few days even though I've been showering, you know what I mean? So it just hits different especially. But I just lit a candle in my bathroom. I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you guys that. The homesick candle called Evening Unwind. It's magical. I was not able to unscrew the shower head, which usually I am. So I'm like, I'm just going to wait till my super comes back tomorrow and ask him. Because I do not want to mess that up. And I was like, I need to be able to take a shower right now. So that will be at a later date. Um, but yeah, that is the update.
I just got off a call. A very exciting call. Big things coming! I like, I have to say it, sorry. Um, but it is very on brand and it will make a lot of sense and I'm launching it very, very soon. So you guys will, I'm literally gonna launch it next month. So no worries, not too much wait time. I decided, I literally went on Uber Eats and I was like, let me just see if anything screams Danielle. What was first? Marafuku Ramen. It's my favorite ramen in New York City so far. I've tried like, I haven't tried a lot of places. I've tried probably like six places and I keep going back to Marafuku. So this stuff is so good. I get chicken python. It is, ugh, the broth, everything. Like it is so delicious. And I've been like talking all day. So I just want like some warm soup. It's still raining. It's literally been raining all day. I'm so struggling to do this. But it's so satisfying too, how you like, you know, we do this, we do that, and then you pour the broth in. But I think I'm gonna heat up the broth just a little bit because it feels a little cool and it's really nice when it's nice and hot. All right, the final moment. Let me just slip and like let all this spill. Oh, baby, that is sexual. I'm sorry, it just is. When I eat ramen, it's like I need all hands on deck. I need chopsticks, I need a fork, and a spoon. All for different things. Is anyone else the same way? Like, maybe I want to sip the broth. Maybe I want to scoop the noodles and then put it in the spoon. Maybe I just want to chopstick it up, you know? There's just many options, and I have to do them all. I woke up at 6 a.m. naturally and I was just like, you know what, let me lean into it, just get up, make my coffee. I needed I wanted to wake up at 7:30 anyways, so it's fine. I went ahead and filled out my doing well daily for the day. This is the planner that I've created. I it's not for sale at the moment, um, but yeah, I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you guys got your hands on it. She might have some extra. Um, I do love it, and there's always things in the works. Don't you guys worry. I'm not going to leave you plannerless. I thought I would take you guys through my day, visually. Um, so at 8 a.m., Zoe from Twice is Organized is coming because she wants to see the closet room fully done. She wants to put everything on the hangers and organize it. She just, I was like, you do not have to come back. She's like, I want to. I want to see it. So she's coming at 8 a.m. 9 a.m. We're going to start walking to the gym. This is going to be my first walk to the gym for my new apartment. So I'm excited to see my new route. At 11.30, I'm talking to Sierra, my interior designer, and just kind of going through. I kind of moved around the layout, as you guys saw. Um, so I'm trying to decide what to do there, and I'm talking to her about that. I need to return my bag to Vivrel. I borrow bags from them. It's amazing. So I need to go there, they asked, because someone else wants to borrow the bag I have, so I need to get over there. I also need to get ready at some point in between all of this. So this is going to be interesting, because I'm recording the podcast. Going to get my nails done from 1 to 3. I was supposed to get them done last week. I pushed them back because I was moving. It felt silly, but my nails are growing out like it's, I'm very close to breaking a nail, and they, like, kind of hurt, so... Definitely need to keep that appointment. So I have nails at one and it's usually about two hours. I'm gonna have to get lunch at some point in between. Hopefully we'll already be ready. I'll bring some touch up makeup. It's raining again today. So I'll probably just do some sort of hair up situation. Recording Gals on the Go with Brooke. I'm so excited we're gonna do an advice episode. And then for my birthday, Katie Velotti got me a pasta making class which is so sweet. It's going to be me, her, and Brooke with someone named Chef Ivan. And I'm so excited. I've never done a pasta making class and it was so, so thoughtful. So she set that up for tonight at six. So Brooke and I are just going to go from recording and we'll eat dinner, I assume. So it's perfect. And then tonight, Ryan's going to come over for a little. And then under life to do's, I have like a whole to-do list, but I'm not going to share that really. But um, I just, I'm going out of town on Thursday going to Georgia. So excited for the weekend for the Auburn game. Um, but I just need a few groceries to get me through the next few days. So at some point, 
I'd like to get these things tonight. We'll see how that goes. So yeah. Oh, busy day, and I have a lot of my to-do list as well, so I think I'm going to just keep playing my jazz music, grab my computer, type, type, type away, get some stuff done. I also don't really have groceries for breakfast. I hate continuing to order out. I need to get groceries. No more of this. Need to figure out what I'm eating for breakfast, but that's the morning. Woo! Guys, Zoe from Twice as Organized just came to, like, zhuzh everything up, hang everything up. I don't think you guys are ready. I'm like staring at it right now. My Hannah Montana closet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. I seriously like my whole life. I've wanted to be able to walk in and do this. And I know not everyone can. And I'm really, really blessed. And I'm just so grateful I was able to do this because I have never been able to see my clothes like this. I mean, this is insane. I'm obsessed. So basically here we've got all of my blazers button downs all of my tops so black long sleeve black short sleeve and then into color and then up here she did it by color and you know i'm gonna try with the color as much as i can it gets kind of hard <laughs> but it looks pretty right now so we've got black dresses to gray to blues to green to yellow orange pink beige white and then you guys already saw this obviously but Wow, oh wow. And then my vanity comes today. And it's gonna go right here, it's a little guy. But it's perfect. And I'm just freaking out. Ah! All right, we're gonna walk to the gym. It is boring rain. Not excited about that. I'm literally about to put on a parka because it's cold and it has a hood and it'll just keep me nice and warm. Here's my workout set of the day. It's from Set Active. I really, really like this material. I have another set from them that's like pinkish and it's the same material and it's like thick and it feels good. And then I just put my hair back in a ponytail and braided it. And then I'm wearing these socks Ryan got me for my birthday from Only New York and Adidas Falcons. And then we're gonna grab my puffer. It's puffer season, at least today. It's just like cold and rainy and it's waterproof. So anyways, I'm running late. Today's a workout with Katie as well and my trainer Jane. So that's always a fun day. I just got off FaceTime with Sierra, Sierra Belanger Interior. She's absolutely amazing. I kind of just gave her the rundown on my apartment right now because she isn't based in New York City. She's based in New York, but not in the city. So like she comes in, but I'm like, you don't need to come for this. So I was just kind of updating her. We were FaceTiming, it was fun. I want everyone to know the table going over there was fully my idea, it's not hers. It's just very, very functional for me. And she's an amazing interior designer and she does not recommend that, but I'm doing it because it's just functional. So I initially was gonna get a different console, but I just talked to her. Gonna keep this one, because I was gonna get a bigger console because it was more wall, but now that the table's there, no, definitely not needed. Um, I'm gonna put baskets under there, it'll be great. Um, my TV's blocking it right now, but we're about to head off for the day. I'm not gonna be back till it's dark out. So here is my fit. Um, I'm getting my nails done and recording Gals on the Go. And then from there, we are going to pasta cooking class with Katie. Um, so I'm excited about that. So I, I'm actually going to bring a different top for that in case I'm just like done with this by the end of the night. It's like a black sweater, you know, like a little nighttime sweater. <laughs> um, but I love this fit. I feel like it's very Gals in the Go. I slicked back my hair. I just couldn't be bothered. But it's still raining and it's still pouring. I'm like, wow. Um, everyday jewelry, necklaces, makeup. This little two-piece top set's from Revolve, I'll link it below. It's so cute. I got it for Gals on the Go shoot a while back. And I think having a bigger closet now and just being able to see everything makes it so much easier. I'm like, wow, I didn't remember I have this. Seriously. Jeans are girlfriend denim off of Revolve. And then I'm just wearing my sneakers because it's raining. I've got a tote bag chock full of stuff. Um, bring in my bag with me, touch up makeup. So I'm getting my nails done first. I'm going to head there now actually. I go to Mickey Nail Co. I've been doing Chrome since I think July. 
and I'm just gonna get another chrome now because I'm obsessed. I'm gonna do white with like a pearly chrome powder on top. I think that'll look really, really nice, and I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow, so I think the white will look extra, extra good. I'm finally like self-tan season, or spray tan season. I miss having color from the sun so bad. I literally like dragged my browns are all the way to my chest. I was like, I need something to feel sunny on this rainy day. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with the day. Let's go get our nails done. I have a lot to do while I'm at the nail salon, so I'm gonna like be on my phone. Um, duh. Wednesdays because we post Gals on the Go podcast. I'm using these facial pads. We post Gals on the Go and I post a new vlog. I'm about to post my moving vlog. I was just making the thumbnail for that. Um, so that's always fun and exciting. Um, so hopefully you guys are liking the moving content. This place is starting to feel more and more like home. Um, I'm just getting ready. I don't have to leave for the gym for an hour, but my super is about to be here to help me hang up the rest of my stuff, my TV, which I'm really excited about. All I wanna do is like cut off my couch and watch TV. And then, uh, which is probably for the better that it hasn't been hung up because I've been more productive with moving. <laughs> um, and my curtain rods and my bath and my um, bedroom, Sunday Riley CEO Afterglow. And uh, the artwork above my bed. So I'm excited to get all that squared away. My vanity came in yesterday. I brought it up last night, but it's not assembled. And I don't think I have time today to assemble it. Today is kind of like a self-care day, actually. <laughs> um, and then also packing, because tomorrow, Ryan and I have a 6 a.m. flight to Georgia. We're going to like stay with his parents in Atlanta for the day, or for the night, and then Friday morning, we're driving to Athens, baby, and I could not be more excited. So, should be a blast and a half. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, today I have my workout at 10.30, and then, um, then I come back, and I have some errands to run and things to do, and then, um, and then I'll come back, I have things to do, and then I'm actually getting a lymphatic massage. Um, with rise up beauty a lot of my friends have used her and she reached out to me and I was like this is my sign to do it um, And she had an opening today and I was like honestly Let's send it because I don't think lymphatic massages are like a true massage where it's like super relaxing But I think there are elements to it and it's really good to like drain your body um, So I'm getting that she's actually coming here. So I was like, let's do it And then I'm also getting a spray tan here. So <laughs> Self-care day. It's my first spray tan of the season, but I'm just like, I'm going to Athens. I want to feel my best. So glow to go is literally my favorite spray tanning in New York City. So yeah, and then in between all those things, I'll be unpacking, doing things, and packing for my trip to Athens. So this is my set for the day. It's from Story. I actually just did an order from Getter. Getter done. It literally comes in 10 minutes. It's insane. I got a couple Topo Chico's because I was like, I'm craving Topo. And then I got some blueberries. I got some ooh, the lighting. Mm -mm. I got some apples. I got some sourdough bread. I got some avocados. I bet none of them are edible today. The other all hard. I got eggs. And then yeah. And then I got. Ooh. And then I got eggs and more half and half and then some more Topo Chico's and kombucha. So that's gonna be the extent of my grocery haul because I think I can get myself through until after I come back from Athens and then we'll do like a true grocery haul for my first 
big kitchen, not big kitchen, but a big fridge, which is huge for the program. <laughs> I've decided I want to make this bowl my produce bowl and like put it out um, for like produce that doesn't need to be refrigerated, obviously. Um, so I've got my apples here. Sometimes I refrigerate apples, but maybe I should have because I'm leaving town, but whatever. And then my avocados, which definitely don't need to go in the fridge yet. But my mom said having a bowl out with like fresh produce shows it provides abundance. So um, <laughs> we're gonna do that. My grandma also sent me this really pretty dish towel and it says home. I guess I'll have to take the rope off, but I thought that was very thoughtful and unnecessary. Headed to the gym. I'm wearing a puffer because it's kind of chilly out and it's the my two puffers are the only waterproof jackets I have. I need to purchase a rain jacket. I There's no reason I shouldn't have one. Um, and I've been kind of, I did like an umbrella yesterday because I had a nice outfit on, but sometimes you just want to be able to like put your hood on and get off to the day. So here's the gym fit. We're going to get going, start the day. All right, guys, workout was great. I just ate some lunch and I took a shower. I'm in my robe. I'm playing spa music. Domi from Rise Up Beauty is coming up now. I'm so excited. I'm like nervous. I texted Kat. I was like, you've gone from before. Like, what is it like? So, um, yeah, let's get a lymphatic massage. Oh my gosh, guys, that was incredible. Like, I was so nervous because I get like anxious because like she wrapped me up in like saran wrap and that was making me a little bit anxious. My hair looks insane, but she made me feel so comfortable and she doesn't wrap it around your chest. She just wraps it your stomach and your thighs um, just to like get you sweating. She puts you under a thermal blanket for 15 minutes um, and then now I'm drinking water because she was like drink lots of water when she, so she was doing lymphatic drainage, which is like what you do on your face. She didn't do it on my face. She just did my body. Um, but when she did my stomach. You could literally hear, because lymphatic drainage is draining water to your lymph nodes. You could quite literally hear the water gurgling and like moving. I was shook. She was like, it's my favorite part. It's so satisfying. I was like, honestly, that is really satisfying. And like, no, it's working. And oh, let me just do that. Okay. Domi, Rise Up Beauty on Instagram. She's doing things that are right. She just came out with a body paddle. So you can like, like, you know, the gua sha's but it's for your body and you don't need to use lotion or serum you just put it in your shower and it's resin and you just go up your skin with it and it feels oh it feels so good so i'm so thankful to her that was so much fun and i didn't think it was going to be relaxing but it actually was quite relaxing so the stomach was a little uncomfortable because she's like getting after it and like you have to like breathe and stuff but the legs, like my legs and arms needed that so bad. Like I didn't know what like this part, she massaged it. I didn't know I needed it. Like that was, that was nice. Oh, I'm in a really good mood now, obviously. I think I'm gonna take another shower and wash my hair. Cause this isn't working for me. Okay guys, I just ran some errands. I got my, I traded in my vet, my bag from Vivrel. And I also bought a rain jacket because I just need a rain jacket. It's actually this right here. I got it at H&M. I love it. It's like this black padded, but it's not like super puffer. It's like thinner, but I like how it's super boxy and structured in the hood. I did like the hood test. I put it on to make sure it actually goes over your face because I hate when you wear a hood and then your whole face still gets wet. That's no fun. I also got this Lunia. I have pajamas from them too, L-U-N-Y-A, like sleep shirt, and I feel like Serena Vanderwitzen in the scene where she um, like slept over at Nate's and like he's wearing his shirt, like I feel like that's, well I don't look like her, but I'm feeling that energy for me. I'm also making a little snack. I'm having some cauliflower thins, I just toasted them, Ooh. and some turkey. And it's really plain and weird, but it's so good. And then I also picked up some fresh mozzarella. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna use my, I'm obsessed with cauliflower. I make cauliflower pizza crust and make some cauliflower pizza later, I think. Yum. I am just loving my little laundry area. Like to have this is a dream. Like this is a dream. This is real. This is me. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. 
This is the bag I went with from Vivrel for the month. It's perfect for going to Georgia this weekend. It's Georgia colors and then also just great for fall. This is the Bottega Jody bag. I already have it in green that I've purchased and I love it. And I think it'll be fun to use the black one. Katarina from glow to go just left. I'm looking tan. I'm so happy. Oh, my lanterns went on. That's like so exciting. I have them on like a timer. Uh, my laundry is really loud. I don't have the doors closed. Sorry. I just received the sweetest housewarming gift from my amazing realtor, Mackenzie Kyle. Oh my gosh. I am shook. This was seriously so thoughtful. Like, I can't believe she did this. It's a fireball, like, like I assume I'd put the fireball in here. And it says DMC New York City. That is so sweet. And then not to mention two glasses that say fireball DMC New York City. Seriously, so thoughtful. I cannot wait. Oh, decanter. I think they're called decanters. I cannot wait to put fireball in here and like have it on my shelf over there. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Mackenzie Kyle, realtor at Platinum Properties. She's amazing. More things. I'm just opening up all my packages if you guys can't tell. A little Amazon haul for you guys. I'll start over here. This was fully inspired by um, Sydney Adams. I literally went on her Amazon shop because she linked it. it. I have to figure out how to use it. It's a t-shirt folding thing. I'll try it tonight maybe. And I thought this would be really helpful because Twice as Organized does it so well. They don't use one of these. But I think you put your shirt in the middle with like the sleeves and then you just boop boop. I think that'll help me stay really organized. Hopefully this can work for like sweatshirts because that's what I really have um, to fold. And sweaters, I think it should work. I think it should work, so we'll play with that. Also inspired by Sydney Adams, I got the huge Stanley Tumbler. I mean, this thing is large and in charge. And I'm really excited to fill it up with ice and water and this just be like my sippy cup throughout the day. Always good to drink more water. I actually need to drink a lot of water today since I got that lymphatic massage. So I'm excited and I like this really pretty cream color. Look nice just sitting on the counter. I realized when I was putting away my um, glassware, I only have one champagne glass. And that's just, it's run into, I've run into issues with that. You know, I pop a glass, uh, pop a bottle of champagne and I only have one champagne glass. And like, with champagne, I just like to like actually drink it out of champagne glass. So I was going to get a four and I was like, let me just see how two would do. And I really like these. Um, and all this stuff will be linked on my Amazon storefront. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to, like, update that tomorrow. So by the time this vlog is up, it'll be updated. But, yeah, I love this square base. It looks like the wine glasses I have. So, like, that was perfect. I got a shower caddy because the ones at my Bath & Beyond when I was there the other day, I did not like. This is easy. It sticks to the wall. It's very similar to the one I had in my last place. Um, and, yeah, I'm excited. I got a new supplements holder because this one was just not fitting it because I started taking these magnesiums. And they're like ginormous and you take two to four a day. I only take two. So I was like, I need a new one. And this is still nice and sleek. I like this one because it has a mirror, which is really fun. But you know, it's small. And the point of this is to be convenient and make sure you're taking all your supplements that you want to. So I got this and it's literally double the size. So I'll refill all that before I leave for my trip tomorrow. And then lastly, I just got a bath mat for my bathroom. That's just gonna like stay on the floor rather than like putting the towel down every time. It's just like a fluffy white one. Hopefully it washes well. The review said it did. So that's my little Amazon haul. Okay, so it's getting very dark in here. So I decided to move the lamp in here. I don't like love how the wires look, but I think I talked to Sierra yesterday. I think I'm gonna get sconces. Such a funny word that to go on either side of the TV, like some black ones maybe to tie in the black of the lantern to bring in light. Still trying to figure that out. Um, but I needed some light in here because it's just getting dark. And the one thing that broke during the move was one of these, unfortunately. So I need to figure out if I can find a replacement or something. Ryan's headed over soon. My friends, Mary Stephen and Morgan, I just told them, come another time because literally it is so messy in here and I haven't even finished packing. Ryan's gonna sleep here because we're gonna, we have a 4 a.m. wake up call and sometimes 
doesn't always hear his alarm. So usually for the early morning, so he'll come sleep here so I can make sure he's up and we don't miss our fight. <laughs> um, but since he's coming, I'm also gonna make his cauliflower pizza. Since he's coming, I'm gonna ask him to push my couch this way. I kind of just want to see how it looks flush with this window. Um, I need, I also am going to ask him to bring down those boxes. Thanks, Ryan. And then out to the table. You guys just have so many comments on the table. I am definitely hearing people's recommendations of like just getting new chairs that can tuck under better. These chairs are just hella comfortable. Um, but I'm excited to see what this all looks like when my TV is hung up. Because right now it just looks really weird. Um, so, I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna have Ryan move this this way. Help me out with some other, excuse me, some other things. I'm gonna see if he can help me change the shower head. Because normally I can do it myself, but it's like really tight and I don't want to mess it up. I also don't want him to mess it up. Like if it feels like we're gonna break something, I'm gonna have to ask my super to do it. Which literally gives me so much anxiety. I hate asking for help and he stresses me out. So, hopefully I won't have to do that. I also got some more clothes because that's just what I do. <laughs> so I'm going to hang up some more clothes in here. But it's so nice because I really still have so much room in here. They just like spread it all out to make it look pretty. But I have a lot more room to put clothes on. So I'm going to hang this stuff up hopefully before I leave. Oh, the reason I turned on my camera. I'm packing right now. Here's what I'm packing. It's literally all black and white with a hint of green. I'm cracking up. Um, so, going to Athens for the weekend. Red, white, and black are the dog's colors. I need a game day outfit, and then we're definitely going out Friday night. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be in Atlanta all day. I'm gonna get lunch and meet up with Delaney at her office where she works, and she's gonna give me a tour. And we're gonna go to lunch, so I need an outfit for that too. And like, maybe getting dinner with his parents, or eating us, I don't really know. So over here, I've got comfy clothes. I have like a workout romper, and then two like workout sets and one of my cuts tees, just like simple. The three bags I'm gonna bring, this one that I just borrowed from Vivrell. Clear bag for the football game, cause we got tickets, I'm so excited because this is literally my George one I keep because you know, I seem to still go to games, so. And then this bag is from By Far. Over here on my bottoms, I'm bringing two of the same pairs of pants in different colors. These are like my cargo pants from Urban Outfitters. I'm bringing the green and the black ones. And then a black midi skirt. Here are my shirts. I'm bringing a white tank. Like, a, it's kind of cute on the bottom. This, like, cool, fun bra top that I thought could be cute with these cargo pants. And then another fun shirt. I guess I'm only bringing three shirts. That feels risky. But also, I'm literally going to Athens for two nights. I'm dramatic. Here I have uh, just like a black like slip dress, basically like a midi dress, a black jumpsuit that I might wear for game day depending on, or I'm gonna wear this black dress with the red boots. I have to bring the red boots. They're from City Boots, and they literally say UGA 2021, class of 2021. These are so special to me, so I wanna, I feel like I should wear the dress so I can wear them with the boots, so we'll see. Cause I, I ha I'm bringing them regardless, and then this white dress is really, really beautiful. It's from Revolve. And um, I think it'll be good for like getting lunch with Delaney tomorrow. So yeah, that's the layout. And then I also am going to, after I shower my spray tan off, I'm gonna put these on. My Kyle Cavan UGA, they have amazing collegiate jewelry. This is the UGA Arch, the Georgia logo, and then a black onyx stone. And I'm obsessed, it, they all are layered so perfectly and look so good. They also have silver. Kyle Cavan jewelry is seriously amazing, so. I bring that. I'll bring my white Air Forces. I actually just washed them, which is the most satisfying thing ever, so they're drying. And then, mm, I wonder if I should bring like, ooh, I should bring a pair of black booties. I feel like that's a vibe. It's officially like fall. Hmm, this is so lovely to see all of my shoes. I can't even explain it. I just got these. I really, really like them. They're hot because they've got the little heel, but they're still comfortable, and they've got the pointed toe. I'm like, what would I be wearing them with? But also, like, these are such a vibe for going out, because I feel so confident in them, and they're platform, and they're, I can dance. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or I could keep it the Western vibe. I have to think about what I'm wearing the black boots with. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring these black boots. They're from Free People, and they're just really comfortable going with a Western vibe. Because um, it would look cute if I wore the midi skirt with, like, this top. 
but also would look cute with my jumpsuit. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, packing is mainly done. I'm just waiting for my laundry to be done so I can get the last few things, but feeling good there. Ryan's almost here, he's picking up green beans for us because I realized I forgot to get, I wanted like a green side and I've already had broccoli today. So he's going to get some green beans. I'm gonna make us some cauliflower pizza using these strained tomatoes from my dad's healthy grocery haul, if you know, you know. And then fresh mozzarella. So I'm gonna cut this up and literally spread the sauce on each one, put the mozzarella, put it in the oven. I'm preheating it to 350 for 10 minutes and it comes out amazing. This crust doesn't get very crispy, so if you like crispy stuff, be aware. Um, but I think it's perfect, so, yeah. I also just filled up my, my Stanley cup. This is good, because I realized I was, I've been not been drinking enough water today. And I'm listening to Giggly Squad right now, and they were talking about lymphatic drainage, and how it's, like, how she, like, felt ill, because she didn't drink enough water, so I'm like, need to do that. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this second moving vlog. I love you guys so much. My hair is just falling out of the ponytail. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time for our next vlog. Bye.